In this video, we're going to cover the basic steering techniques used with Triggerfish. For best performance, use braided line up to 30 pound test. Monofilament between 6 and 12 pound test can also be used. Avoid sinking lines such as fluorocarbon or copolymer. For simple turns, begin by reeling slowly with your rod tip up until your line is clear of the water, reeling steadily to go in one direction. When you want to change direction, pause your retrieve and allow the head to flip, then resume reeling. As trigger fish gets closer, you should lower your rod tip, finishing near the water surface. Another technique is to reel very slowly, then back off the speed slightly. Triggerfish will make turns within a narrow corridor. Again, the key is to keep contact with the lure, maintaining the line out of the water. If Triggerfish is barrel rolling and you don't want it to, it means that your line is not out of the water. Once your line is out of the water, it is impossible for this to happen. Turns can also be made after a pause with a quick pulse of the rod tip. Follow the pulse with a steady resumption of your retrieve. A harder snap of the rod will cause Triggerfish to execute a turn with more surface disturbance, a deeper dive, and a greater bubble trail being created. Maintain contact and resume your retrieve after the turn is complete. Finally, Triggerfish can be turned by accelerating your retrieve. With your rod tip up and line out of the water, retrieve at a medium to medium fast speed. Do not move your rod and accelerate your retrieve quickly. Triggerfish will then turn sharply. Resume a steady retrieve and accelerate again when you want to turn.